On the possibility to collaborate on futuristic programs such as the AMCA and TED BF programs of India, the President and Country Head of Pratt & Whitney India has said, that Pratt & Whitney is the maker of the F-119 and F-135 fifth generation engines, that powers the F-22 and F-35 fifth generation aircraft, and Pratt & Whitney aims to deliver the next generation propulsion technologies to India, and the company is open to engage with India on any opportunities that they see fit for the company in the long term. Pratt & Whitney's PW-127G engines will power the 56C-295 of the Indian Air Force, and the company has also offered its F-100 PW-229 engines for the Indian F-15EX fighter jet, that has been offered under the 114 MRFA tender. India's Hindustan Aeronautics and Turkish Aerospace Industries are the only companies that have met all the logistics and technical parameters set by the Royal Malaysian Air Force. The Turkish Horjet is expected to make its maiden flight in 2023, and Turkey has promised Malaysia that deliveries of the aircraft will start from 2027 onwards if it is awarded the contract. India clearly has a lead in the contest, as out of the 18 aircraft, the Royal Malaysian Air Force seeks 10 single-seater light combat aircraft and 8 aircraft in lead and fighter training configuration, and the Turkish Aerospace has not confirmed when it could be ready with the light combat variant. Conversion of the Turkish advanced trainer into a light attack aircraft will consume a lot of time, that includes integration and certification of weapons such as beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles and anti-ship missiles. The Indian Navy has procured a limited number of wave gliders built by Boeing Defence, which is an autonomous uncrewed surface vehicle, that is powered by wave and solar energy. The wave glider operates individually or in fleets, and delivers real-time data for a period of one year. The wave gliders can tow sensors, to detect report and track a live submarine, and can even provide persistent acoustic surveillance against surface vessels, that are entering or operating in a targeted area. Wave gliders can also be used for over-the-horizon surveillance, and also as a communication gateway to relay information from underwater back to the shore. India has issued an OTAM warning for the launch of an experimental flight vehicle over the Bay of Bengal, for the period between 26 to 27 February. The designated area is 170 km, which has led to speculations that it could be the development come user test of the Astra Mark II air-to-air -air missile from a Su-30 fighter jet. The DRDO has issued a request for proposal for the identification of development come production partner for Project 44, which is the very short-range air defense system project. The government has recently scrapped the procurement of 5000 IGLU-S very short-range air defense missile systems from Russia, and the preference will be given to the DRDO developed man portable defensive missile system that has a range of 6 kilometers. Five units of man-portable defensive missile system has already started fabrication, that will be used for its developmental trials very soon. Crown Group has announced, that it has acquired a workshop, and will expand its operations in Visag, to meet the needs of the Navy by establishing a maintenance refit and operational facility. The company also plans to expand into shipbuilding and is looking for acquiring a shipyard, or tying up with tactical shipyards in the west coast.